Hey everybody, Keystrokes Coding here, and today we're going to be doing this uh, perfect number uh, problem from codeforces.com using C++. And uh, if we look at the problem here, the um, link to the problem is going to be in the description. And um, the problem is that the number is considered perfect if the sum of its digits is exactly 10, right? So, if the input is 19, so 1 plus 9 is equal to 10, the input is 10, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, as you can see. So, we're just going to go ahead and uh, write the code here. And now we're going to have uh, our various variables. Sum equals zero. K equals zero. Now let's just trace them out, just to keep it clean. And there are T. And all T equals to ten, right here. And then we're gonna get our input into n. And then we're gonna have a for loop i equals zero. Um because this is kind of a brute force problem. We're just gonna try as many times as possible and here we're gonna So this is kind of a billion time. It's about 10 million, right? And it says plus, like so. And then we have a full loop. And uh, t is equals to t plus 9. So you know how... Um, Whenever we increment by 9, um, we get a number, you know, that is uh, plus 10, um, kind of minus 1. The number that we we got before, say maybe 9, 18, 29, uh, 9, 18, 27, sorry, um, 36, uh, 45. You see how the number is increasing by 10 and uh, subtracting by 1 at the same time. So that's the trick that we're going to be using here to uh, check if the number satisfies our condition. It goes to t and while um, t is greater than or equal to 1. And And we equal to sum plus t modulus 10. We want the remainder that we're going to have. And our p is equals to p divided by 10. Like so. Terminate it. And if Sum equals 10 and we increment k right here and sum is equals to 0 we reset sum else we just reset the sum and 
and if k equals n, then we print out our answer, which is in this case will be in t. And we break the code. Right here. Print our term is zero for our main function. And yeah. So what happens here is that so long as p is greater than one, right? The sum at first maybe for the first test case remember we input one and uh, our t is equals to 10 thus um, our uh, t plus 9 is 19 p becomes 19 right because t is 19 it's equals to it's uh, assigned to t and um, our sum is equals to 0 and uh, 19 modulus 10 is equals to 9 right that's what that's the uh, result of sum and p is equals to p divided by 10 which is 1 right so this loop can happen again and uh, our sum is now 9 and 9 um, plus p modulus 10 is going to be um, 1 and sum is now equals to 10 and uh, our p was uh, 1 well, 1 divided by is equals to 0 so this code stops executing because now p is equals to 0 and um, sum becomes 10 and k is incremented to 1 sum is reset to 0 right so this block executes this one doesn't and we come to this and uh, our k here is uh, equals to 1 and our n input was 1 so print out the t here which remember was 19 it never changed and it'll be the first answer to our problem so let's just um, select the problem uh, perfect number b and then submit it compilation error Oh, we missed something here. Let me just check and see what it was. Oh, the um, terminator is here. So we can just copy this. Return to the problem, submit code. We just submit it right here. Number. Hopefully, didn't miss anything else. Yes, and it's been accepted. Uh, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for uh, more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.